Okay guys, so this is how we are going to orient and 3D print our Beetle Borg helmets. Now a lot of these are going to be very, very similar um, for all the Beetle Borgs. Um, and we're not going to do the back because that's pretty straightforward. You're just going to lay it and put supports underneath and print it upright. Okay, so I'm going to take this back and I'm going to delete it. As you guys can see, I'm going to be in my Bamboo Lab slicer because um, it's easier to paint on supports rather than going through Simplify 3D and, you know, keeping on clicking. So I'm going to move the, he the headpiece a little bit over. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to center it to the build plate. Now I'm going to rotate it on the X just so it's about like that, okay? This is the orientation I'm going to be looking for, okay? This is going to prove uh, to be the orientation for the least amount of supports, all right? So it's going to be pretty straightforward here, guys. I'm going to click this and I'm going to click my uh, support option. I'm going to increase my brush. And I'm just going to go around the perimeter here, along the sides, okay. And I'm going to press shift and I'm going to erase this part right here. Now what we want is supports under whatever overhang we're going to have, right? So this definitely is an overhang underneath there, right? Because we're looking at it. If we look at this um, from the side, it's definitely an overhang. Okay, so we want to add supports all the way around here as well, definitely under the chin. Down here, behind the ears, of course, and down here. Okay, so let's analyze this some more. Um, maybe underneath this part right here. Remember, you always got to do, always do both sides because it's symmetrical. Other than that, that's about really it for supports for this thing. Okay, now you guys can add a little bit more here. Um, it's not a bad idea. All it does is it adds more stability for the helmet. Okay, so that's it for the helmet. Okay, so it's just basically everything underneath there. Now for this one, okay, I'm going to go ahead and delete, delete this one. For the head ornament, Okay, we are going to orient this first uh, properly. So what I would do personally is I would just, oh, that's support. I would lay it on this face right here. Okay, um, it doesn't look like it's going to be flat on it. So, right, if you're looking at it, you can tell that it's laying on its back. So we're going to click on it and we're going to add our supports. And basically we're going to add supports underneath here and maybe just a little bit in there okay now um, I would add supports underneath this as well just because um, you don't know what your bridging is gonna do so just add supports I mean it's you know it's not gonna not help outside of that really that's it for this one okay so if I turn it off, oh, you know what? I'm, I was wrong. So you do need supports underneath these little parts right here. So we're just going to turn it back on, add supports underneath here, and then underneath here as well. All right, so that's how I would print this for your Beetle boards. Yeah, I don't need supports there. Um, again, the files for this are going to be on the website. Link for that is going to be in the description below if you guys want to grab these files. But that's how you print that. Um, it's basically the same for all the other beetle boards. All right, so if I take this, I delete that, and I add the blue beetle board. You know, again, I'm not even going to add the back because the back is pretty self-explanatory. So it's loading right now. And with the magic of cinema, we're here. Um, so we're going to take the top ornament. We're going to take the main helmet, and we're just going to turn it again. Uh, we're going to rotate it on the X so that it's laying as flat as possible. Okay, maybe a little bit more like so. And then for this one, it looks like we're just really going to need something under the chin, under the ears, in the back part right here. And then for the top ornament, we're just going to rotate it again as always until we get a nice flat surface. Um, I would print it 
like this and then just add supports under here okay let me show you I, this one I do have to show you so what I would do is I would add supports under here definitely under there um, definitely under this because this is thinner so you're gonna want major supports here um, when you're doing it and obviously underneath all of this because we want stability right so support structures also act as um, stability for the print itself okay so you just mirror these support settings orientation on the other side as well all right so that's it for this video you guys um, again thank you guys for subscribing for being members on the membership site and I'll catch you guys later